Okay, Karen. There's Miriam. All kinds of people. Wonderful people. So Danielle. Well, Danielle, let's start with you because I know you said to me you are fired up. So since the retreat, what's something you've done? Did oh my you... goodness. Um, so I have created a new consultant team uh, group page for all my new consultants in my organization. Um, and I have, oh, and I've done, and Sherry has helped me so much with learning new thing, uh, a new thing on videos too. Uh, I'm just so excited. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, and I've done block parties with my team. Awesome. And, um, and I've created some fire back where there was nothing. Really? So, so let me, uh, by the way, this is our October director Zoom call led by Patty Moserino, Marie Friday, and myself. Marie couldn't be on today. Um, so you have a couple of other fearless leaders, but we'll miss her, and I'm sure she, she might be listening in, just not showing her face. Okay. <laughs> she's, she's, and I have uh, 35 new team members in my organization for October. 35! Woohoo! Awesome. Okay, so Danielle, tell me, um, tell me about the block party idea. Is that is that like the mega show? It is. So I have been running mega shows for my business, and I have. Um, I usually do five posts in the mega party per week. Okay. Um, and so somebody had the, I forget who I heard it from, one of these rock star people about doing a block party for the team. So I run it the exact same way. And I had, um, last week I had, I had four team members in. Um, and so it's all in one party. Okay. And so it's really easy. All right. So did you pin um, their link to the top tell us how you organized it yeah so when i first started doing um group parties or mega parties i had posted all their links in the announcement page and also i post them under the um, the banner at the top of the page okay so i had a few problems with that where people were clicking the wrong one so what i decided because what happens is when you post all the links the first link will show up with the picture at the bottom. So people, oh. I think, were just clicking at that picture. So what I did instead was I got... Um, Hold on one second. Somebody's making noise. Go ahead. Um, I had copied and pasted the um, interactive catalog first. Okay. So that way, that was the thing that shows up in the picture. So they'll, if they click on that, they're just going to click on the interactive catalog. Okay. So I posted uh, the interactive catalog, and then I said, for Susie Q's party, click here. For Beth's party, click here. And I had all of their hosts there, and then, um, and then I said, then again in the banner also. Good. Um, we're going to talk about how to do the click here for the banner. Um, maybe um, Patty or Danielle or Sherry. Um, Sherry, have you done that before? Have you done the click here? I, I used to do it on my parties and um, I still didn't, I, I didn't notice a big difference. So I am not doing that currently, okay. but, and I post my link throughout my party. Um, you know, every, every so often I'll post the link. So I don't seem to have so many people asking me for it okay. and I haven't had any issues with Facebook by, by posting it. Okay. Yeah. Good. I think another helpful mm -hmm. thing too, is I usually will go live at the beginning of the party to introduce myself and to tell them where to find their links and they can contact me or their hosts to find the links also and then I'll go live during the midweek also and I go live throughout my virtual parties cooking when I'm cooking for my family in the kitchen I have my phone hung up in the kitchen and so I'm doing live in the kitchen with my um, parties and I remind them at that point too where to find their host shopping link. All right. So what kind of device do you have that hangs in the kitchen? Is it just like a... It's so sim simple and easy. And Christy Leskovich had showed me. I have this little hook on the back of my phone. Right. So I use one of the command hooks on the inside of my kitchen cabinet door. Okay. And of course, it's positioned up nice and high, so I look skinny and beautiful. That's <laughs> always a good tip and trick for everyone to know. I hold it all the way up here, you know? Okay. So then you can move your cabinet to let the... I have several different positions in my kitchen on the inside of the cabinet doors because nobody will ever see the command hooks hanging in there. Right, I right. I put them in several <coughs> positions 
where I'm going to use them mostly. That's awesome. That is, that's an awesome idea. Um, yeah, we learned a lot about Facebook and algorithms and um, the, the, what can get you into Facebook jail. There's some, you know, nobody really knows. So, um, so they're just putting some things out there that um, try to do uh, differently. And um, can one I of the things, there, Nancy? pardon me, can I interrupt you just sure, one second? Sure. I'm so sorry. Okay. But I think one of the things that's really huge about Facebook jail, because I have, I was a cooking show consultant and I haven't done a cooking show since June. And I was in Facebook jail pretty much all of June and July. And, and, you know, and then, then <laughs> I started doing mega parties and block parties that has kept, that kept me out of jail. And I think, you know, and running it from my business page also. Right. So I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, no, that's okay. Please do. Because I am a student of this. Um, I am still learning. Um, I, I feel like I got two mega doses between the past, uh, the Kristen Coy retreat and the Grace Bot retreat. Both were absolutely amazingly fabulous and uh, pretty much on virtual. I mean, it was really both, both things were on virtual. By the way, I want to mention that you can go to pcteamtraining.com, password extreme 18 for all of the videos for Kristen Coy's retreat. Is that correct, Patty? There, are they all up now? Under the, under the leader tab. There's a leader tab there, and it'll say Kristen Coy's retreat. Just click on it, and you'll okay. be able to see all of the videos that were all right. that we posted. Here is your assignment. Thank you. You are very <laughs> welcome. Yeah. Here's your assignment. I mean, lots of us paid to go to this retreat. It was live and in person. It was worth five times what they charged, quite honestly. Um, we had some amazing, amazing speakers. Um, but he, here's the thing. You guys have to promise me you're going to watch every one of those videos over the next two weeks, okay? There's probably six or seven, and um, they're anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour long. Um, but I am telling you, it will transform your business. You're going to learn from Mary Hayes. Um, she did the top 13 time wasters. Mm. Oh my gosh, you know, and you're going to relate to some and not relate to others. But what is, am what is amazing to me about that particular one was oh. not when I catch myself doing one of those time wasters, I go, ah, what would Mary say? <laughs> <laughs> what would Mary say? Um, so it's, it's just really important that, um, that we focus in on the things that are income producing activities. And um, she, was, she did a great job on that. Um, Kristen Coy, um, did, she did her, her testimony of uh, how she started and what she's been through and how she restarted her business in a totally different way with virtual. And, and I just wanna, um, I wanna comment here and say, you know, a lot of us are still doing cooking shows and, um, and I want you to know that's not going away, okay? Cooking shows, cooking classes, um, you know, workshops, those things are foundational to our business. And I really implore you to keep those things in if you can. I know some people are, um, you know, have some family situations where they can't really go out uh, right now and... Um, for whatever reason, but I just want to let you know, this cooking show is not going away. It's better than ever, and um, and sales are off the charts with cooking shows. I don't know if you guys see when those um, when we do like I think we had seventy six cooking shows last um, month that were over well seventy six shows that were over a thousand dollars on our team. So. Um, <clears throat> and a lot of those were cooking shows. So I just want you to know, well. The virtual show, it's, it's awesome. I'm learning it. I'm getting it. I'm going for it. That's where people are finding tons of growth. Um, because like one of the things Marna said is when you go to a cooking show, you're, you're influencing 10 to 15 people when you're doing virtual shows because we run th you know two to four of them at the same time in the same week. Um, we're influencing maybe 60 to 100 people. And that's where a lot of the recruiting is coming in is because we're touching all those lives. Um, and uh, some of these people are doing off the charts recruiting uh, through their virtual shows because they're, 
they're able to. You, you're not just in your community or within an hour and a half away from your home. You're literally all over the country. So um, don't be scared, or should I say do it scared, all right? Do it scared and jump in if you're not already there. And those of you that are 100%, I'm gonna challenge you to go to do a workshop, go out and do a cooking show. They're so fun. I know I've got a brunch this week. Um, next week, I've got uh, an, a Sunday afternoon tea. Um, you know, there's just all different ways to do things. The guys are coming to the shows like crazy too, and they're loving it. And let me tell you, even though you have two orders, I mean, two people for one order, those orders are huge. The guys don't even think twice about spending money on good tools for the kitchen. So I just want to encourage you to do some couple shows. It's what I've do, been doing mostly since I've been in Florida. Um, and uh, I mean, my, my next Sunday, that's the tea. She goes, oh, no, no, man. <laughs> But all, almost all the other shows I've done have been, have been uh, co-ed parties. So I want to encourage you to think outside the box, work our business in every way you can. Um, and um, so back to, um, back to Kristen's, um, uh, work, I mean, Kristen's retreat was just amazing. Uh, the the uh, title of it was Become Queen of Your Jungle. Okay. And uh, it was really about ownership, owning what you were going to do, owning, you know, just taking charge, um, just doing what you know you need to do to succeed. Wouldn't you say, Patty? What, what, oh, what, my God. Was, the, what was the main thing that you, oh, you know, here, here's just a little tip that I would have never thought of. You know how we do marketing imagery, Patty? Ready? Because you're next. Um, <laughs> marketing <laughs> imagery. All right. You know how we go there and we use the the different um, pictures. I learned here to take a, a screenshot of the picture and then bring it over to my desktop, my folder, where, wherever you're going to use it, because then it becomes a new file. So we're not using the same file that every other person is using the Pampered Chef. And um, another thing we learned this weekend, Marna taught us that if, if someone, say, say if we're all using the same picture of the quick slice, okay, from Pampered Chef. And if anyone at anybody's party that is using that, so the thousands of people that are using that image, if anyone at anybody's party accidentally marked that as spam, it will, that picture will be forever spam anytime we use it. And we don't know it. So that's what's ending us in Facebook jail as well, because now we're using a picture that someone somewhere on the globe marked as spam, maybe not even knowing what they were doing, because you know how you can block somebody and then, you know, you know do things, you can go further. But Marna's told us that if that picture is ever marked as spam, it's marked as spam forever. None of us will know that. And that could be why we're ending up in jail too. So Kristen taught us, take a screenshot and, and use that. It becomes a new file and, um, and also to change things, put a word on it, put a background on it. There's um, one of the gals from Sinshare did a retreat um, Here's from Connie Busher. If we load it into Pick Monkey, all right, and edit it into the plot, does that change the file too? Yes, it does. And that's what I was just going to say. You can also change it in some way, make it smaller, make it larger, put a banner, change the background color. Just use, use your little clip um, tools, um, just a little bit on it, and then it makes it a new file for you to use, all right? Um, and really teach people to change it up. Okay, um, tell me, tell me some highlights um, that you thought with. Oh my gosh! Well, you know what? I could go right down the line, <laughs> but I will. I'll start with them, or the one that probably most impacted me, which probably most impacts a lot of people, is time management. Mm -hmm. And um, I honestly think that um, you know, without. I feel like, you know, we always say we're working our business all the time, you know, but are we really doing things that are productive? Kind of what you were saying, Nancy. But, yeah. you know, some of the biggest things that, you know, some of the statistics that we talked about, um, the average person checks their emails, wait, 36 times an hour? 
maybe we're not doing an email, but think about all the notifications that come through on Facebook or anywhere else. And you feel like you're constantly checking, you know, and I feel like, oh my gosh, I think she was like speaking to me. Um, so on something like that, but, um, wait, one of the other things that I'm sure that everybody is gonna, when you, when you listen to this video, which probably will impact your, and I've been trying to do this is the Pomodoro method. So I don't know if anybody's ever heard of it. Has anybody ever heard of that before? The Pomodoro method. And this was the first time I heard of it, but don't you think I had gotten it success and their tip number 11 was use the Pomodoro technique um, tell us what the technique is Pia. Okay. so um, the idea is to allot 25 minutes so 25 minutes chunk of time in which you focus on just one task so I can do anything for 25 minutes right and then um, after that chunk of time you take a small break preferably about five minutes and then um, you will feel like, you know, a little rejuvenated and like you could go back to your next task. Now, the one thing I think about that is that to have a little plan. So, you know, last year at our national conference, they did during our director time, they talked a little bit about time blocking. So if you know what each of those Pomodoros are going to be like, I think that would really help. So I feel like at least you're going into your office knowing exactly what you need to do. So that was huge probably for me because I feel like I was always putting out fires, you know, always working in that urgent quadrant, urgent emergency quadrant. So I think that this will kind of help. So if you're working on a, you know, a, uh, if you're working to do team stuff, do that for 25 minutes. If you're working on recognition, that's 25 minutes. If you're working to do a virtual show, that's 25 minutes. So um, I, 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 honestly, it'll, it's like, woo, okay. I, I feel like that was huge for me now, so. Yeah, yeah. and I, I, I believe um, Danielle, if I can go back to Danielle a minute, when I talked to her, she was saying she was working in Pomodoros and, um, and it's it's just uh, this this method that someone came up with, you know, name Pomodoro. And so um, <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, I think that's really really huge. I mean, my my Pomodoros is all calls today. I have four calls today, so it's a little crazy, a little crazy. Um, but you know what? It's uh, we have a lot to share. It's it's awesome. Um, the um, Sherry, what was your biggest takeaway? <laughs> So um, I had I had quite a few. I took lots of notes. Um, I like the Pomodoro um, method. That was really good. And um, kind of utilizing my calendar. Uh, you know, we've been taught so many different techniques. You know, have the the at lead. We were taught either a notebook or little index cards of things you needed to do. And I could never really stick with something. So um, I like the technique of putting things on your calendar as daily tasks and then just deleting them when they were done. And if you didn't get to them, move them to the next day. So that's been um, a big one for me. Um, also, they talked about, uh, wait, let me look at my notes real quick. Um, oh, about um, changing the date, the, uh, the, the name of your virtual parties as they kind of start counting down. Um, and that way, everybody who has been invited or joined the party is getting a notification. So um, that's something that I kind of did sporadically. So it's kind of now more on my must-do list. And another big one for me, too, was Wait, to... Sherry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell them why that's important. Okay. And, and, let's mute. Okay. I'm going to tell you why that's important. Because um, what it does is it re-notifies, when you change the banner, it notifies every single person that has been invited to that party that something big has changed, okay? And you may say like Mary Pat Mayo's party, you know, virtual party to start with. Change also the title to Mary Pat's virtual party or Mary Pat's, you know, Fab Friday, you know, whatever it may be. But change the title and change the banner and every single person will, will absolutely get that notification. So um, that's why it's super important to do that. So go ahead, Sherry. Yeah. And then um, probably another, another thing that, that I did change this month for my business. So I was 
always doing parties, always doing virtual parties, kind of running them week, week in, week out. And so I kind of front loaded my calendar. So I don't have any virtual parties going on for the next, you know, 12 days. And it gives me time to kind of regroup. I'm trying to, like Danielle did, work on a team page, um, making training videos for my team. And it's allowed me to just kind of focus on something else other than virtual parties all the time. Good. Yeah. Um, Kristen said that she did. She does one set the first week and the third week. Uh, another set the third week. And the other two weeks, she was working on the other parts of her business um, with um, training and with, uh, you know, onboarding new consultants and all this different stuff. And she said it freed her up a lot. And I know, I know a lot of the top uh, virtual people are literally checking twice a day. That's it. Once in the morning and once in the evening, and they're answering all the posts. And if you let people know that up front, they're not going to... They're not going to feel funny that you're, you're MIA, you know, they just let them know that I'll be checking uh, the party twice a week, I mean, twice a day, um, and I'll be commenting then. So great, 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 good. All right, who else was at the Koi retreat? And then we're going to um, share some things from the, uh, Christy, Christy Hendricks, are you, any, are you able to unmute? Yes, I am. Okay. Hello. Hi, Christy. How are you doing, sweetheart? Uh, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So tell us what uh, what was some of your big aha going home from? Um, I think the ones I've heard already, you guys have really mentioned most of them already. Uh, the changing of the title of the group was huge for me. And I saw and noticed this last week um, when I was doing that, more and more people were noticing the invite to come to the group and joining. So by the time the party actually ended, we had a lot more participants, you know, at the end of the week than we did at the beginning of the week. So that really helped. Good. Um, and then Sinshare, just learning Sinshare and uh, jumping on board. I signed up to be an ambassador with, with Sinshare so that my team, well, one of the things that she had mentioned was she's an ambassador and she gets paid when $10 when people sign up for Sinshare through her. And so she never has to pay for Sinshare. It's free for her. So nice. I... I did that this week too, as I signed up as an ambassador for my team so that when they sign up, you know, it helps pay for my cost of Sinshare, which is nice. Perfect. Yep. 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 Um, anything else, um, for marriage training or, or and, and you guys will be able to get in on that, get in on that, um, that training. Uh, let's talk about the block parties for a minute. Let me, um, let me go there. there. Um, it's like the mega party that seems to be a real, um, hot, Hot topic. Anybody have they have you tried them? What's what's going on? And I'm going to get another idea that has come through, um, ready for you guys. So, Nancy, Joe, I've tried them. Um, I've done three, and I just find the hosts get confused. I find the host coaching is hard. Like, I just haven't quite found a system. Um, I did it when I had, I had double hand surgery a month and a half ago. And so I knew I was going to be limited as to what I could do on the computer. And that's when I did three, one each week. And I just didn't find, and I was still, you know, I was still commenting by, by voice texting, you know, in comments and asking questions, but I felt like there was a lot of confusion, even though like I did a lot of what, um, Danielle said, like I, you know, posted all the links in the banner. I posted all of the links, you know by name at the top and i don't know maybe i'm not doing something right you know I have one little tweak and it changes everything but i just they weren't definitely were not nearly as successful as my others uh -huh. um and i didn't have any more participation in fact it was less i think there was less participation uh -huh. and like i said the host coaching was very confusing like i didn't know what to give you know, what i normally followed is my host coaching like, I didn't know what to tell them to post because you didn't want them to all three be posting the same thing. Go for it, Danielle. Come on, I was going to call you, sister. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do have an Evernote file. If you'd like me to share it, I would be happy to. Um, I copied it from somebody else, I'm sure. I'm sure I didn't come up with the whole thing myself. Um, but it's, and I host coach my, all of my hosts in one message on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So they, they know, right. And, and I, and I just did a little video this morning for my upcoming one for next week. And so I, um, 
I send a little video and I let them know that there's multiple hosts in this party. As you're inviting your guests, you're going to want to make sure that they know to reach out to you to find your specific link and stuff like that. But I think when they know ahead of time, and I don't give them an option. I don't say, would you like to be in part of this mega party? Like no, this I just not either. Yeah. And I just say like, this is how I run my parties. And um, there's going to be lots of interaction. It's going to be lots of fun. And so when I'm doing my message for the day, I will say, who volunteers to post today's game? So, um, and then somebody will say, I'll do it today, you know, and I'll go, okay, don't forget to tag me at eight, after 8 p.m. to post the answer. So I think when they're in that group and everybody um, knows that, you know, there's multiple hosts in there. They're, and they, they kind of have a little bit of that healthy competitive going well, on. Well, that's kind of what I thought would happen, but it definitely, yeah, yeah there wasn't any well, kind of competition Anna, between them. Just like when we do cooking parties, it's the same thing. You know, you're going to have some hosts that are great and you're going to have some that really are not yeah. right? right? So you're going to, that's what, that's what I love about it. Like, for instance, I just had my, my block party, right? And um, I had four consultants in there and one of the consultants was, following everything I gave her to a T. She was messaging everybody. She was just doing everything she's supposed to. And she ended with like almost 900 in sales. She got eight bookings and has two wow. potential recruits. Wow. Right. Another one didn't get anything. Okay. Danielle, so, if, you could, if you could post that in the Ryan Rockstars and then Patty and Marie, oh. you guys could pick it up from there and post it. I'm that, not in Ryan Rockstars. Add it to that. Add it to that. Another idea, and maybe we can even put it in, um, Danielle, before you post it, um, here's an idea that you can, say if you have five hosts and you're gonna run it for five days, you can ask host one to, block, to post the first day, host two to post the second day, host three. So they know that they're gonna post once, um, and, um, and it's good to teach them to tag their people so that everybody sees it uh, inside a post. Um, and so if you want to put that in, that way it's not confusing of who's going to post which day. You can put it right in your host coaching that I'm going to ask one of you to post one thing. I'll private message you that so that you'll have that. And then that way there's no confusion. Um, does that sound like a good, good thing, Danielle? Does that it could be, you know, in the, but then, you know, then again, you have the ones that are kind of flaky. And that won't be involved. So, you know, like I had somebody do it two or three times in one week, and then the other one just was, you know, okay, MIA. So you just never know. But well, I am not, I'm not, is, um, you said the Ryan Rock stores, is that a group? Because I'm not in that. Uh, you were invited. You probably just missed it. So it's, I mean, that's, that's my personal pin on the team page. Oh, okay. And so um, if for some reason you're not in there, well, just ask to be invited and get you right there. By the way, um, I don't see Laura on here, but happy birthday, Laura. It's her birthday today. Oh, yay. Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. This one? Yeah. Hey, Vince, wait, can I say one thing? I just sure. want to say something to Anna because um, Cami Cruz, um, if you watch that video, I think I actually, I know that we got it, but I think. Who's speaking right now? I'm sorry. Yeah. Patty, can you hear me? Oh, now I can. All right. Okay, okay. sorry about that. So, um, okay. So, Cami Cruz did a video. Videos, okay. I think I, I think I actually downloaded it to YouTube. I thought I shared it. I will. Did anybody see that? It was a, um, she had done a video. I, I'll get it out to everybody. I promise. Um, I think that I did because I think it was on, it, there was a link for it, but I think I was able to get it on uh, YouTube. But the reason I was saying that, Anna, is because she struggled with, she had tried that earlier in the year. She had actually tried the block parties earlier in the year, and she was not having any kind of success with that. And then somebody said, hey, I'm going to encourage you to try this again. Because, of course, she was doing, like, you know, 15 whatever shows a week. And um, so she does 15 shows, but she does three block parties. So you know, she does five in each of them. And just like Nancy Joe said, has, you know, um, host coaches is them in a group together, each five, you know, so that who knows who's, you know, who's posting or whatever. But she tried it again. So I don't know how many times you've tried it, Anna. And, you know, but I, I you know, I have not tried it. Um, I think it's a great idea though. I just think, I just don't have, I don't think I have that many to do a block party. Um, but uh, I, I think- our teams. How many, how many people could we reignite with 
Exactly. Teaching them how to do a virtual party by including them in a block party. Well, wait a minute. Is the block now here? I'm totally confused, Daniel. Maybe you can help me with this. So I thought that a block party was you personally doing five hosts or whatever at a time, multiple hosts. And I thought a mega show was when you invited your team to participate. Is that it. I not have that right? Is that right or no? You just have it backwards. So the block party is for your team. So I think it's two names for the same thing. It is. It's really the same okay. thing. Somebody All right. I'm sorry. It doesn't really matter. Call it what you want or whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter. It was just kind of like, okay. okay. It's, new, it's a new name for, because uh, people were doing uh, mega shows for their hosts as well when they had yeah. too many that they could run. And um, a gal, Sharice, uh, I think her name was, at the pop she is doing approximately 30 shows a month. Oops, we got noise here. Um, she is using the block party method, okay? Um, and, but when I talked with her, it's just, it's the same as the mega show. Yeah. It's just called the block party, all right? Um, so so I, I, I'm just thinking, especially in this anniversary month, wouldn't it be awesome to re-engage some of those dead in the water consultants by offering them in the last, you know, 10 days of the month here, um, offering to do a black party forum to uh, re-engage them, reignite them, and reactivate them, okay? Um, and, and again, you can set up one of your shows, copy one that you've already got, and reset it up, and then just add them as the host, okay? And host coach them so that they can get the full experience of a virtual party. Um, that's what I think is great about doing that is you host coach them like they were the host so that they, they can really see how it's done. I don't know. Um, okay, moving on. We're at 11.03. Moving on. I want to share another idea. Anything, anybody else got, I'm sorry, anybody else got anything that they'd like to share about the mega party? I mean, the block party. They used um, to be the mega party. <laughs> yeah, Nancy Joe, I did it last year after talking to Lori Miller. And I did give them the option of being in a mega. It was mega at that time before block. And I had one host that said no, and I had three or four that said yes. The, the block one or the mega was amazing, and the other one had no activity. And then the next time, her daughter was in it, and she loved it. And it really, it, it helps for those times when the host won't be involved or she doesn't get enough invited. Others do. And it kind of, it kind of builds on the excitement. But awesome. I didn't continue it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and something else I learned on my last one is that I could, when, I, when you go to members um, towards the end of the show, when you're counting up tickets and all that, did you know if you click on a name, it shows every single post that they ever, I mean, it shows all the times that they replied. I didn't know it was there. You guys never told me that. <laughs> you got to tell the old girl what to do. <laughs> and I don't do that at all. Pardon me? I don't, I don't do tickets and counting and all that stuff. I don't have time for it. Oh, so I just, I do a game like a day in my five days. So Monday through Friday, my parties run. Uh huh. And, and so I, I'll say your, you know, your name, you'll, you'll get a free gift added to your order. PM me your address when you place your order, or whatever. And I'll just send them one of the old season's best cookbooks, 85 cents to mail, put a little sticker on the front of it, throw it in the mail for 85 cents. Yep. You don't do tickets at all throughout your party. Who has time for that? Not me. Yeah. Well, he here's the deal, Danielle. Afterwards, I don't really count tickets. I know. I who is the person who not only, first of all, placed an order, but secondly, was the most engaged? Because if I was doing actual tickets, they would have the most tickets and probably win. Okay. So that's, um, and then Marna also said she never picks someone that's booking a show because she's already got that person clicked in. She always picks someone else and then personal messages them and says, hey, you won. Thanks for all your involvement. Da, 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 da. Right. Uh, Another great thing too is to offer, you know, if they, um, if they win something, you can offer them free shipping and handling when they host their own party. There you go. Love it. Love I have it. a question. I didn't know about the, you can click and send, find out how many times they've commented. 
Wait, or is that in group insights? Is that word? Anybody? No, you click, you click on there and like you, you do a search for their name and then find somewhere they post and click on their name. And if you're not friends with them, it'll pull up everything that they commented and liked on. Yeah. I think I did it in, in members. It's, it's the, it's just the search. It's just the search. I, yeah, I didn't I, even do I, it in search. I went, I'm pretty sure I went to members and clicked on their name and everything that they said came cool. up. If oh, somebody okay. would try that while we're on this call to yeah, see. I'm, do, I'm doing it right now. Yeah. I, I fell into it by accident, guys. Nobody. Yeah, I did, I did too. So I fell into it by accident. Cool. Yeah. So, but that was really a great, um, a great help for me because I made some notes then and I went through each member. In fact, I'm, I'm almost positive it was members because I went. It is. It is, Nancy Joe. Yeah. And that's so much easier than the way that I was doing. If you go to members literally and just click on their name, it Good. pulls up. Look, I can kind of, I can Anna, show you my. Share your screen. Oh, okay. Well, I'm on my phone. Can you, okay. can you see that? So like there's one. Okay, let me just scroll down to another one. So she hasn't done anything. So, but but it, they all pop up. All the messages pop yeah. up that they've engaged. They commented on it. Hey, I tried. Oh, here we That's go. But there's one. Me. <laughs> can you see? Right. Oh, oh right. can you see that? Yeah, oh, there you go. Oh yeah. So you can yeah, see. see like she so she like she liked four comments but did not like four things but didn't actually comment on any of them. And it, and it tells show, you so. all those different things. And and here's what's really, really important about that is when you reach out to do that personal message, the personal phone call or so whatever, you can you can actually target certain posts and talk about that and see, uh, hey, I noticed you really love doing um baking you know um how would you like it you know if i equipped your kitchen with a whole bunch of new baking items you know um i'd love to do that for you and uh, make you smile every time with our pretty blue bakeware you know whatever i don't know what to say but you guys you guys get it all right so let me show you, show you about another party that's like going in waves through the whole company it's called a fit I'm going to share my screen here. called a 15 minute um, personal message show. Okay. All right. Personal message party. And uh, Stacey Kitzel was wonderful enough to um, share it with us. And what this is, is um, say you've got some, you know, some people that would kind of like to have a show, but doesn't want to necessarily do the whole five day thing. This is being done. Okay, somebody's who's ever got noise going on in the background. If you would mute yourselves, I'd appreciate it. Um, this is a 15 minute show. So you'll say, Hey, who can get 10 friends to get online at the same or get, get into a message group at the same time at 7 30 tomorrow night? Okay. And literally you can do one at seven 30. You can do one at eight o'clock. You can do one at eight 30. You can do as many as you like, but it's 15 minutes long. That's it. It's called an express party. Um, uh, it's an online express. It's all online done through text or messenger, but I, I think messenger is a little bit better. Um, it, it's people seem to hit, be having a little more, um, success with the messenger. Uh, when someone comments on your post, you respond and explain how it works. Um, hey there, thanks for agreeing to hear more about this. It's brand new party that I'm testing as a part of a pilot program. By the way, you guys all know you're part of a pilot program at all times, right? <laughs> okay. Um, basically, I'll create a chat in Facebook Messenger and you'll add five to 10 people. But you'll ask them first if they want to join the 15 minute party. I'll give you the words to uh, send them and invite them to the chat. During the 15 minute party, I'll share 10 Pamper Chef products. And at the end, I'll share your personal ordering link. They click to order and we're done. What do you think? Sounds like something you'd be willing to try with me. When they say yes, confirm a specific date and time, send them the words to invite their friends, tell them to let you know when they have their first yes. Example, and then it says, hey there, I'm uh, helping my Pamper Chef consultant uh, 
in a pilot, uh, brand, pilot a brand new online party that only lasts 15 minutes and takes place in Messenger. She'll show us 10 of her favorite products and share a link to order at the end. I need five people to join me this and blank um, for 15 minutes. Can you pull up the chat on your phone table or com you can pull up the chat on your phone table or computer? Tablet. Tablet, it should be, yeah. Can I add you to the chat? When they have a confirmed yes, have them create a chat with you and the other person. Rename the chat and, re and create a reminder within the chat within a 15 minute alert to the date. <laughs> and then you just keep adding people to that group, all right? Um, you're going to post the day before. I'm going to put all this on Ryan Rockstars and Patty. I know you got the same email, so you can put it and Marie can put it on hers. 30 yeah. minutes. Yes. No, no. We're good. Okay. You got it. All right. Some of the prices are wrong, so it needs to be updated. Okay. Okay. We will do that. Um, this, you know what, guys? This is not for you to copy her post. This is an example, right? And this is so easy, you're gonna be able to do this with your pictures and your verbiage. It's 10 posts, all right? You, this, is, this is an idea share. Now here's the deal, if you use all this stuff and it goes out to 6,000 people, we're all gonna we're all gonna crash, okay? So that's why it's really important that you take this as an example. You put your own pictures in there and your own text in there, all right? But I want to show you what this this is like, all right? So do, do you understand what I'm saying? Um, that's why so so many of us are getting in trouble uh, now. We don't know of anybody that's landed in Facebook jail using Facebook Messenger, but you know what? If we all start doing this, who knows what will happen? All right. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, but here's the, you do 10 posts and you post them once every minute to minute and a half, okay? Um, and then, and you can go on live at the very beginning and say, hey, you know, um, or not live, but do a little video. It's just one minute long. This is what's going to happen. Thanks for joining us. If you'd like to earn some, uh, watch what we do. If you'd like to earn some, um, free products for your kitchen, you can do this with your friends too, okay? Um, and then at the end, you're going to closing post is, thank you so much for joining me for this express party. Uh, the link will be open all night. Just click the order and remember when you spend, well, it'll have to be $80. Um, you know what, Patty, can I ask you to go through and just look and see what needs to be changed on this? Um, or maybe, who, who would be willing to do that for me? I just don't have time today. And I know you guys are going to watch. I've that. already, I've already done it, so I can share it. Oh, I've oh. already done it. <laughs> Thanks, I still, you know. Yeah, I know. I, I put, I actually posted it with to my director. So yeah, they have. Uh, do the, uh, posted the up the the one that's right. <laughs> no, no, I did it. I but Anna, yeah. So now she has the right one. So okay. I posted the wrong uh, with the with the incorrect prices. So. Okay. So anyway, um, here is um, okay. Here's closing post. Um, there's the, it's all there with the, with the party link. It's super easy and, and super fast. And, um, and I just think, I think it's a great way just to reach out to your friends and family and say, hey, you know, people that have done this before, people that their friends are, know what a Pamper Chef party is and say, hey, how would you like to earn some Christmas gifts yeah. for other people? How would you like to reduce your Christmas budget have a party and, and, and maybe maybe mom would like this and your sister would like this and your best friend would like this. Wouldn't it be fun, fun to get that for free? Post a little party, uh, 15 minutes, um, and, and we can do this. People were saying um, Donna McDonald um, and um, uh, Donna McDonald, Becky Ishi, and Love Carpenter shared their um, their outline of this as well and um and showed me to show me what it was and they did a little um interview and i'm trying to get that up i'm not seeing it um so let me look just for a minute see if i can find it which um, one are you looking for nance i'm looking for donna mcdonald um oh. she sent me a uh Jeez, no, that's not it. She sent, how do I get up? Okay, Patty, how do I get from a personal message to send it? 
Let me yes, send it. Uh, let me send it to you. Okay. And then see if you can if you can put it up on your computer. Okay. Um, my my personal messenger on my laptop is not connected to my phone for some reason. Let's show me how to do that too. But anyway, um, there she did a little video, and um, the video was very very good. Um, Okay. Let uh, me know when you want me to. I'll, I'll the, share it. Yeah. Um, I just sent you the video. Okay. Yeah. I said, let me know when you're ready and I'll share it. Oh, oh, good. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. Okay. Do you have the video up? Yep. Okay. Perfect. Because oh, this will show how to do this. And I apologize. I know some of you saw this at the retreat, but I want everybody to get this. This is yeah, so cool. It's amazing. Wait, is this it? Right, it's just a, it's just like a less than three minute video. Hold on, hold on. Why are you not, are you coming up here? Hold on, give me a second. Did they share what kind of results they're getting with parties like this? They said within one minute they were getting orders and within 45 minutes they had qualified shows and Wait. beyond. Wait, I know, is your screen allowing me to screen share or no? It should. Okay, here. Okay, hold on. It wasn't before. I don't know. That was kind of weird. Okay. okay. <laughs> Can okay. you see it? Yep. Yep. Guys, so I was talking to you, Ms. Donna McDonald, today about my experience with doing the 15 minute Facebook Messenger party. And so she asked me to share with you guys how my experience went and exactly what I did for my party. So let's get to it so i made a short video of how the party was going to work and to let everybody know that the party would start in about 15 minutes i sent everything in order of how i wanted the party to go to my husband in facebook messenger when it was time to start posting into the party i pulled up facebook on my computer and i pulled up Facebook Messenger from my husband and Facebook Messenger from the party. That made it super easy to share the products from my husband's Facebook Messenger to my party. And I will show you how I did that. So I pulled up the Messenger for my party and my husband's and then I went to the first post and this arrow that's right here if you hover over it, it says forward, and if you click it, then this screen will pop up and you can send it to any person. And so I just, my party was up there, and so I clicked send, and it's gonna pop up here. So I sent it to my party. So then I made sure that I posted about every minute and a half, every minute and 15 seconds, into the party and all the posts were done and completed in 15 minutes. My first order from this party came in about one minute after the very last post was posted. So if you guys are skeptical of this 15 minute Facebook Messenger party, just like I was, I encourage you to just give it a try because my party was qualified in 45 minutes total from the very first post until it was qualified 45 minutes hey guys so i was talking all right so isn't that exciting you guys i think that um i think this is for the person that maybe doesn't want a full-blown show uh or maybe wants to try something out and just see um, but I'm really serious. I'm thinking of all my girlfriends, all my, you know, my, my sisters, my cousins, my nieces. I'm thinking of all the women in my life that might like just to do, they know about Pamper Chef. They know about the products. So now I can just share my top 15 products for the month. You know, and um, this, this would be a great blizzard party. Yes. Those of us who are in the snowbound areas. Oh, excellent, Debbie. Oh yeah, That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Oh, yes. Everybody's home. earn the blanket for those ones that are close to earning the blanket. They can yes. throw this together quick. Yes, oh. and Donna shared with me how many people um, that she 
you know, like people that were, a lot of people that were inactive, they just ran one of these little parties and that they became active again. And how many people um, made directorship because, made directorship numbers because of this little 15 minute dealio. So um, I just, I just was really excited about it. I mean, I've, I've seen the <clears throat> party, but it was like over days and all this kind of stuff. But this is 15 minutes. You got people's attention. Um, and if they like that and they want a full blown party, you could do something on Squee. You could do something um, on, you know, of course the regular. Uh, I mean, if they wanted a full blown, you know, 30 to 45 minutes, you know, um, then you could you could go to Squee. You could go to what is the other one? Bisley. I mean, you could. There's a whole bunch out there. But um, will you post the video? Yes, we will post the video on the 15 minute. Um, yes, the Friday director group and also Ryan Rockstars. If you would do that, um, and we will. I'll, um, Anna, you're going to send us. Anna, would you send me? I already have it. I already have it. I'll, okay. I'll forward it that. She sent the, it to me. The corrected one. Yeah, I have it. Thank awesome. you. Okay. So yeah, I'll um, send it on to you. And you know what? Do you want me to just post everything in the PC team training so it's all absolutely. there? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. But I think we need to post it on the Facebook pages too. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So for both. Okay. We've Cora. got to get. Um, Pardon? No, I was just saying that video is going to be hard to share because not everybody's going to be able to see it. So maybe we could. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll get it recorded and figure it out. Okay. That one of how to do the the. Yeah. Because like, isn't that easy? Putting the two right next to each yeah. other and just yeah. sharing, sharing, sharing. I mean, you know, just like I shared it right on my phone, you know, with um, with Patty. Um, what I did was I just clicked right here and all these people that I share with regularly came up. So I sent it, okay, I'm going to send it again and it just, it sends. All right. So that's basically what you're doing with the two shows and it's going to, because it's going to be open, it's going to pop up right in this little news feed that you have here or the, the feed, the recents. Okay. And so it's going to be super easy to do. And just set your little timer for every minute and you've got 10 posts and then you can be answering people's questions in between. Um, so it's, it's a good thing. It's, I, I just think it's, I, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it and what it can do. And people said it's generated people to book regular parties, to book virtual parties, you know, to um, do all kinds of other things because they don't necessarily want to commit to a whole whatever. So, anyway, okay, Cora, tell us one of the main ahas you got out of this weekend's training. Okay, it has to be uh, uh, two things. Marna's um, get the rock rock for five dollars. Somebody okay. on her team took the whole thirty nine dollar kit divided by eight products. They're Can you share dollars. that? Can you share that screen? Do you have that? I do on the Ryan Rockstar. And then they're saying just to put an emoji or something on it to make it your own or a band, you know, or a background. Can you show it right now? Do you have that? Uh, I have it in, I have it in um, Facebook. Okay. Can you share your screen? Do you know how to do that? Go down to the bottom. Yeah. Share your screen and, um, and show us this. This is really cool. Oh my gosh, it's the coolest. I'll just put it right here in the thing. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, and what is really cool is the um, the first uh, the first kit that's thirty nine dollars. It, it's saying you can get each product in there. There's eight products for five dollars each. But I want to say the large was it the large kit or the next kit was eight dollars each. Yeah, I think it was the next kit. The next kit was eight dollars each, so the hundred and um, for uh, what was it, hundred and ninety nine dollars. Oh, kit. there, this girl, my one of my girls. I already told him last night. She's already given us several options, so uh, of changes. Okay, that's it, and I'll I'll, I'll post it on um, the Ryan Rockstar. So see, the hundred and twenty five dollar uh, Rock Rock is five dollars. So tell me if you like this idea. I told my team or some of my girls last night to all those people who had the rock rock on their wish list, go in and privately message them and say, oh my goodness, I would love to help you get this for $5. Are you interested? Or would you do something other words? I'm not good with words. So, so do you guys see what's happening here? 
is they've basically, I know a lot of people have been saying this or this, you know, um, the, um, the quick slice for $39 or the whole kit with the quick slice for $39. Now, once again, you don't want to just sell all these products for $39 if they're not interested in doing the business at all. There's got to be a, a you got to generate some interest and get some kind of commitment out of them for trying it for four, you know, try it for four parties, you know, um, because what we don't want to do is put all these products in people's hands and nobody benefits. Nobody. Okay. So, but you want to, Hey, would you like to try this business out? Try on the apron just for four times and I'll help you set up your, um, your first two sh parties and you can do the next two. And especially with virtual, it's so easy. Um, and you can get each of these products for $5 or it's like buying the quick slice and you get all the rest for free, you know? Um, so any way that you want to do it, but Again, change up the background, put, put something, put another word on there, do something, okay, to make it your own. Really, really, really important. Did. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so does anybody have any questions about that? Isn't that cool? That was like crazy wild. Yeah, yeah. So what else, Cora? What else really? Um, the other thing was that push uh and i can't find the notes to that we all commented on the push the push, uh, push year or push month yes push month okay and that's where you really go all in and say you normally do six shows a month that that you're going to commit to do next month doing 12 and the following month doing 18 you know like i'm speaking virtual um but to really really just slam your business for a solid month. Talk to your family and say, hey, I'm really, I'm going to work this so that it transforms my business so that I get into a routine of doing these, these many shows, this many live show, this many virtual, but I'm going to need to do a push month and I'm going to have to work really hard uh, in the next month to make this a regular thing. Um, so are you with me? You know, get, get the commitment so that when they start, when, you know, little Johnny says, you're not coming to my game. Remember push month. <laughs> Remember what we agreed to as a family that we're going to work really hard um, and and we're gonna we're gonna give lots of grace. Um, one of the other thing with a lot of you with small children, um, I mentioned this during my talk uh, at um, at Grace's, and apparently a lot of people resonated with it because they um, they commented on it and they commented to me on it. They said thank you for giving me permission to not feel guilty about not attending a game or practice or that, you know, uh, that I can't be at every single thing. And um, I remember for myself, I used to work one of either Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday, and then I always worked Thursday night. So I worked twice a week, but the kids knew if their games ended up on the, you know, the, the nights or practices, you know, whatever, that if they ended up on the nights that I was working, that I would not be there. I mean, because mommy was working. I mean, that's just a fact of life, you guys, that we are working, we're making money, we're, we're, we're contributing to our family's future and um, to our tables, you know, with food, um, but for to vacations, to college funds, whatever. But you don't get to just do that and there's, the, there's no payment for that. You know, you have to pay with time to, to make money. And this is a good lesson for kids to know. Trust me, they're not going to remember that you weren't at the game on Tuesday night 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. But they will remember what a good role model you were about being a business owner. Okay. That, I mean, how many of the kids, I, I mean, one night the Nationals were talking at a chairman's circle and we were amazed at what our kids were doing today. <clears throat> from all over the country, all different, you know, um, economic situations, okay, uh, that we started with, that these kids grew up in. But we're talking doctors, we're talking uh, entrepreneurs, we're talking, these kids saw what building a business did for a family, and they wanted it too. Some people are serving in the military. Some people, you know, are staying home to raise their kids because that's what they saw their moms do. And you know what? You guys got to own your business and let your kids know 
that, hey, I'm running a business here. M mommy um, is some, you know, sometimes we go, I, a lot of you are working full time too. Um, but you, there, there's going to be times where you miss something. But if they know it ahead of time, Sherry Carr did the same thing. She had four kids all within two years of each other. Okay, by two years, the next one was born. Two years, two years. Every one of them were involved in sports and choir and musicals, you know, um, band, all that kind of stuff. And what she did was she set out a schedule and she said, if I'm working, I will not be there, but your dad will. Okay, it worked beautifully. Because there's always an excuse that we could, oh, well, Johnny's got a game. Susie's got a game. They got to dance this. They got you know, all this different stuff. I'm not saying the big rehearsal. I mean, not um, the big the big performances. Absolutely, you need to be there. But what I'm saying is the everyday situations, you need to show them that there's sacrifices being made to provide the family life that they have. So, um, so Cora, what else? What else did uh, really you want to just reminded us about mention the French fry analogy? Oh yes, 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 yes. Do that. Should tell us about that. Uh, is Donna on? Do you want to tell? Donna. Okay, I don't. I'm not seeing the chat. So where's Donna? Donna, I'm going to unmute you, Donna. Okay, unmute. Oh, we're proud. There we go, Donna. I'm here. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah. Okay. We can hear you. Can you hear me? Can see ya. <laughs> okay. I don't have very good, I don't have very good coverage, but Marna was talking about when uh, we go through a drive through <clears throat> at the fast food place and we get our French fries. The very first thing we do is before we drive off, before we put our anything else, we grab, we, reach into that bag and we try one of those french fries because they're nice and hot. They're, well, we want to make sure they're hot too. Um, but yeah. that's when they taste the best. We don't want to wait. We don't want to wait. That's when they taste the best. And she related it to our recruit leads that we really need to, you know, get on them right when they're hot. If they cool off, if they get cold, they taste awful. And we, we end up throwing them away. Yeah. And it's just the same with our recruit leads. We need to jump on them <clears throat> with this $39 um, photo. Um, I've already talked to my team this morning that, you know, whether they like it, if, if they show any interaction at all, we need to jump right on them and, and contact them. So and she even mentioned that, that at, was checkout, a at checkout, uh, the kit is the upsell. Would you like a kit with your order? Yeah. I love those words. Yes. Would you like a kit with your order. So she upselled the sale of the sh of their order at a show with the kit. With the kit, and, and you know it's it's a small commitment to try the apron on. You yep. don't just want to say, "Do you want the kit?" Small commitment. What would Danielle? What, what are you going to say? I just had to say that I I wrote on Facebook that I'm in a pilot program to try a 15 minute express party, and I already have one person that messaged. I'll give it a shot. Nice. I was just going to ask if we post that, do you think we should be ready to do it tomorrow or how tonight? Long? Tonight. Oh, tonight. true. Let's do it. Yep. Wouldn't that be fun for all you yeah. guys to post on the, and wouldn't that be something that, that would be great to share with your teams yeah. that look at what happened in just 10 minutes. I got this. Here's what I posted. Here's what we're doing. And, and you could even do a mock one with your team. Couldn't you? as a training yeah and so they can see how easy it is you guys um and and again so we have block parties we have virtual shows we have live cooking shows we have uh workshops i mean i hope you guys are doing some workshops with the um cooking blender and the quick cooker um the the cookware the knives there's so many you could have a different workshop every month and people could be building their kitchens. And if you bring a friend, you get la, la, la. You know, Lord knows we've all got stuff. I don't have that much more anymore, but I do still have a tote of products. But we've got stranded goods. And Marna, Marna calls those, those things, they're, they're just, they're sucking the life out of your home, okay? <laughs> I said that, not Marna. But, but they really are. They're wasting the space in your home. If you get them to work for you, it's going to make more income and it's going to clear your shelves, okay? 
and clear your shelves. Um, okay, who else was at the uh, one of the retreats that would like to share something else? We have got, oh, we're over time. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, but is there anybody else that would like that didn't get to share? I, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of phone numbers here. Or Eileen, um, I know you've been having some amazing success with things. Would you like to share what you're doing um, to that you transformed your business? Oh boy, um, yeah. I just decided in January of this year that this is where the growth was going to be with virtual parties, and committed to sinking my teeth in and learning how to make it, how to understand it, and work it into my cooking show business. And um, it's just been a really good decision that I that uh, that I had made, and for the last couple months, I was saying fifty percent of my business is virtual. Well, it really isn't because I'm still doing one hundred percent cooking shows. I'm still doing two cooking shows a week. I've added virtual parties, so I actually doubled uh -huh. my income. Yeah. So, so now, did you just hear that? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, doubled your income. Yeah, pretty much doubled my income. I mean, to this point, um, and just. You know, the nine months, I mean, it's I'm this close to excellence in sales already and recruiting. And yeah, it's just, it's just exploded my business. It's kind of scary. It's fun, but I'm like, oh my gosh. So yeah, it's not 50% of my business. It's actually another 100% on top of my cooking show business. Wow. So wow. diversification, I have, I'm keeping the cooking shows going just yep. because you never know. And so. can you share, Eileen, um, how do you share parties, live parties? Because I know a lot of people are just doing live. Um, how did you get that rolling? What did you say? Or what did you, did you reach out with the pilot, guinea pig? Uh, I don't, I, personally, I don't like guinea pig. I like pilot program better than the words guinea pig. I mean, that's just me personally. I don't want to be a guinea pig, but I'll be yeah. happy. To be, I'll be happy to be in your pilot program. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, but yeah, what did you do? Well, I actually, because uh, Tracy's call back in January was uh, the nationwide leader call, and that was when she mentioned that 42% of the company business was all through online parties and online sales. And I thought, I have to figure this out because I had such a big number of people in, my organ in our organization that they do virtual parties and I couldn't support them. So I was basically learning how to do it so I could support them and train new people how to do these instead of just pretending like they didn't exist. Okay, so with that, I just went through what Steve shared with all of us back then, and I figured this guy's got a track record. This is the way he's doing it. It scared me because it was totally out of my comfort zone to do some of the stuff that he did, but I had to follow what he did just to see how it worked um, as a training program, and it just took off. So it, was, it just came down to green dotting, which I never did before, first experience doing green dotting in 21 years. <laughs> so, uh, so I started there and um, I only ended up green dotting 16 people. I haven't green dotted since. <laughs> so I green dotted 16 people. And I think seven of those responded three book parties like that week. And it just took off from there. So it was just, it's just exponential growth. And um, Julie Ritter has a good saying with booking these online parties or any parties in general, you book in bunches, like grapes grow in bunches, you book in bunches and you'll have bunches produced from that original crop. Really. Just think if you had three and you got two from each of those three, now you've got six. If you get two from six, now you've got 12. Exactly. So exactly. So I was just blown away and I just, you know, it's a, it's my own little pamper chef online store. There you, you know, go. that's what it is. And Eileen, do you do, are you doing the mega parties or the black parties at all? No. Not yet. Okay. All right. No. I, I, um, I, you know, I'm only doing, uh, you know, 12 to 15 virtual parties a month. That's manageable for me to. Only. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, you know, I have nothing to compare that to, but that's manageable for me. You know, three to four parties a week I can do. I can give them the individual attention that, that I want to give them. So. Yep, 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 yep. Um, good. And I, we have some questions here. Uh, thank you so much, Eileen. Um, I think we talked about the pick money monkey. What do you call your black parties uh, from Glenna? Black parties? <laughs> that's, that's just what, what people, the phrase people are using. And I know there's uh, a link for the training here, Patty Moserino. Uh, 
put it up with Cami Cruz. I mean, Cami Cruz had fifty thousand dollars in sales, you guys, last month. Unbelievable. Crazy. And and she has five kids under the age of nine. So like, where's what's my excuse, right? Yeah. Um, yes, we can share it on PC Team Training. Are you going to post a fifteen minute document? Yes. Um, yay, yay. Just booked one for tomorrow from Donna. In fact, I encourage her to do one Wednesday, invite 10 more people on Thursday. Nice. Nice. I'd love to have this document. Um, really working on Disney. Yeah. And get your teams. Like I just, okay. So here's, here's a thing. Um, find out from people who are like 25,000 points away from Disney. Look on your teams and say, okay, you are 25,000 points away. Let's figure out how you can make this happen. I did this with, um, with one of my gals uh, that I was at the retreat with, uh, Rochelle. So, you know, she's, she's thinking, you know, the most she's ever done is like 4,000 in sales in a month. So she's just thinking, there's no way I'm going to make this trip. All right. Um, we figured she has two recruits right now that are active. We figured if she recruited three more and helped them become active through the virtual training line and that would give her 9,000 points. That would also give her directorship, which would give her a $5,000 decrease, right? So now we're talking 20,000 points. She goes from 25,000 to 20,000 because she became a director. 9,000 points for her recruits. And now she's got 11,000 points to do over the next three months. Whole different ball game. She was totally excited, totally can do this. And then, um, you know, and I said, and you know what, if you do a fourth recruit that qualifies and if you start them out with four virtual shows, like they're telling us to do it, they're going to qualify. All right. And then you'll have 12,000 points. Then you'll only need 9,000 points or 8,000 points, whatever it was. It was, it was down to 11. So now you need 8,000 points over the next 10 weeks. She was totally jazzed. You guys, she was totally feeling like she can do this now. When she came into it, she said, I, I, I didn't make it. And she was so sad because she really wanted to take her little boys. So how many people on your team can you help transform their attitudes? Yeah. Okay. You know what? And I know people have had some really big numbers this last month. We didn't, I, I don't have everybody's, but let's do some shout outs. Um, let's, you know, who wants to share what they did? Let's be proud out loud. Eileen, what did you do last month? Yeah. <laughs> or what did you got yeah. last month? Yeah, uh, it was September, right? 18,500? Yep. 18,500. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so everybody's going to listen to Eileen, right? Okay. <laughs> and hey, I got a shout out to our organization. They had a Blackbuster month, best month ever in our career. Wow. Nine three thousand six hundred for yeah. Wow. So yeah, awesome. Because you're teaching them how to do it, aren't you? Oh yeah, we're all just in bed together here. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We like to cuddle. Think of how many spoons you can get in a case. Right. Okay. <laughs> Who else? Who else would like to be proud out loud? I know a lot of you had rock star months. I'm proud. My team um, did the most they've ever done. It's 69,745. So I'm thrilled. Ooh. We've never hit that. And September is not the not month you usually blow out the water. So I'm yeah. really excited. They're, they're, catch, they're starting to catch the fire and the flame. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. And Cora, I know that you always uh, sell a good amount. Uh, what, was, what was your personal sales? Can I ask well, you? Well, after Eileen, it's no big deal. I, well, I did 12220 That yes. is a big deal. <laughs> Come on. Now, don't, don't be like that. We would have had to put on Eileen go last, right? Okay. Cora, you're now $12,000. Amazing. Amazing. Who else? Come on. If you did $2,000 or more, tell us about it, would you? 6,500. Woo! Woo! Yay! Yay! Awesome. Well, I'll share. Even though I didn't have great numbers, I was on vacation for two weeks, and I usually always still run parties. I'm not doing them this time, and I really relied on my team to pull it out, and we still made directorship, although I only have like 1,400 in sales, personally. Awesome. Woo -hoo -hoo. And yeah, she was on a bike trip in Amsterdam. I mean, oh, my job. gosh. 
It was awesome. She drove me. I mean, she wanted to go, right? Yes, it was awesome. It was awesome. And good for you. What about you, Anna? I'm just under 13000 for the month. Wow! wow. That's amazing. My team rocked it last month, so, yeah. Cool. That's good. So, I was talking... Hey. Oh, is it you, Patty? I maybe. Okay. <laughs> Something just went on. I apologize. Sorry. That's all right. Let's give Patty a big round of applause for posting all that stuff for us. Yay! Am I posting it on every like everybody's director, like your Ryan Rock Stars? Is that it's where I'm posting fun. it? And in PC team training. Okay. All could, right. That would be awesome. Okay. Um, right. That way, people will get it in two spots. Okay. okay. All right. Anybody else like to share? I'm proud of you all. Um, I'm, I'm, and one thing that's come through on both of these, um, on both of these weekends, I mean, it was just amazing and just a total indoctrination of virtual shows. And one thing that came out so strong is that every single person on your team counts every single person adds to the pot and makes all the difference in the world. So um, what a, a, a great opportunity and a great reminder for me to start reaching out and, and just, you know, I, I tend to, you, we all tend to look at the superstars and look at the people who are doing the most, but what if there's some diamonds in your dust? What if there, if we can go digging, go gold mining? That was our, uh, our um, theme this last month. Uh, go down so your business doesn't go down. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, what, what would happen if we have some people that, that really just need to learn how to do something and they're totally intimidated the way I was about it? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I feel like, oh my gosh. I, I know how to do this business, but I don't know how to do the virtual business. And it was really overwhelming to me to try and add all of this into what I'm on, onto my platter that's already overflowing. But you know what? You have to find a way. You have to do it because it's part of our future. And while it's here, you do not want to miss out on digging in this gold mine, all right? And we never know what tomorrow's gonna bring, and we, you know, we're all afraid of Facebook jail, and we're all afraid of this, we're all afraid, so stop, do it scared. Just do it scared, and dig in. We're gonna be putting a lot of information up on the different websites, pcteamtraining.com, on uh, each of our personal team pages, but pick something and implement it. Then the next thing, and implement it. You're going to be overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that's coming out. I'm just letting you know, pick something and do it. Start at the very basics of where you need to start and grow from there. Um, and make it a team effort. You know, say, hey, guys, I'm learning this. I'm doing this. Who wants to do it with me? And challenge them. Challenge them to do a 15-minute show. Challenge them to do a block party. You know your directors that are struggling. Help them help others. Okay? Um, Anybody else have anything to add? Because I know I'm way over on time. But it was just so much stuff. And I'm sure we're going to bring more stuff to you um, this, on this next call in, in one month. It's going to be uh, live from Marie's. Um, they're going to have a live direct. We're all going to be Marie's? <laughs> yeah, we're all going to be Marie's. Yay! Um, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll go. Uh, they'll have us zoomed in. To, the, to Marie's meeting. So please, as many as possible, please go there um, so that um, we can have a full, full on-site director meeting. We're only doing that every few months now, so, but it really, it really makes a difference um, to be there. So any, anything else? I have a question real quick. Sure. I didn't pay attention to the Eastern time of this call. Here I hopped on at 10.30, so I apologize for being late. Did you guys, you guys are recording it? Is that going to be yes. posted yes. on PC yes. Team Training? Or, okay. Excellent. I always post it up there. Yeah. As soon as Nancy gives me the link, uh, I'll get it up there. Yeah. It's yeah. under the leaders call. So if they're it's recording. Yeah, we are recording. Thanks, Absolutely. So, um, so thank you all for all you do every day. Thank you for your energy. Thank you for all that you're bringing to the table. Um, I want to welcome Danielle to uh, the Ryan um, 
first gen director team. We're excited to have you. And um, yes, and um, and so so just just I love you guys. I love you guys. I'm so thankful for my job. I'm so thankful for what we're we're able to do to change lives. I I've sat on a few planes in the past two weeks and. Um, it's really interesting the conversations you have with people and when they hear you do Pamper Chef and their reaction. And, you know, like the man next next to me last night, uh, him and his wife, Jane and Jim uh, from Pennsylvania, they were so sweet. And he was like, he was such a wonderful conversationalist. He got on me how I started. Uh, what do you think made my business a success? You know, I mean, he was just what I learned so much from talking to this man. And you guys know me, I don't have a problem talking to people, but he was just such a wonderful conversationalist that he found out, and then in turn I found out about him and his wife, and she was um, a uh, nuclear physicist in the medical field. I mean, just really interesting people, and, but they loved Pampered Chef, you know, and sometimes, yeah, you know, we're not nuclear physicists. He was, he was in the nuclear business too, and, um, but I gotta tell you, their eyes lit up when I talked about camp with Chef. about their kids, how their, their kitchens are equipped with it. They took my car and they're going, we're going to call you, you know, and we just work in a wonderful business, you guys, that serves everyday people. Doesn't matter what they do. And, and one of the questions he asked me, he says, well, do you think that like the direct sale, you know, business mode is, is going out? And I said, well, sir, we're growing. We're yeah. growing because of the virtual, we're growing, all right? But I said, I think, think about all the cooking shows that are online. Think about all the different ways people eat nowadays. Cookbooks are being, you know, just constantly being published and constantly being put out there. It's food, 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 food. Every place is having cooking uh, lessons. And you guys, those cooking lessons are still sold out. So why don't you do your own cooking lessons? Why don't you tell people, I, I would love for you guys to come play with our new power tools. Leave your checkbooks and credit cards at home. I would like you to come experience something new. And it's a class on how to cook food differently. I bet when you have six or eight people there, that those people are all gonna book shows to get these two power tools, aren't they? Or maybe they're gonna buy one outright and book for the other. But you guys, do it with gusto, do it with life, pray about your business, ask the Lord to bless it, and he will, he will. He's never disappointed me yet. So God bless you guys. Um, do everything you can to make this harvest season the best that you can, because this season takes us through the whole year. You guys know this. The, one, the people that have been around a long time, they know this is the time to harvest those parties and really grow, 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 because this, this literally propels us through the whole year. And what you do today, 90 days from now is January, isn't it? Okay, so you're gonna what you do today is gonna propel your business in January, then in February, then in March. You're gonna get through that winter, all right, and get back and back to the spring where we're in growth mode again. So God bless you all. Have have a great, great week. And we want to hear what you're doing with those things that you learned today. Okay, so so post, post, post. All right. Thanks, all right. See you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks again, Patty. Nancy, don't forget the recording. Stop I, I, recording. I, I,